Hey everybody, it's time to get to it and open up this collection that came to me from Canada. It has been sitting in my living room for about three weeks and just waiting for the perfect time to open it up when I had some free time to make this video and enjoy the process of opening up another collection here at my lovely home in Portland, Oregon. Home of the Toy Car Collector. That's me, the toy car collector .com. Dave Williamson, you probably know me by now. And thanks for watching my videos and thanks for joining me each and every time. This should be about video 429 for this collection. It's the last collection I bought for 2019. Let's open the box and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's inside. All right, packing materials. Packing materials. And these bubbly things. I hate those bubbly things. And what's this? Hmm. Is this just a bunch of foam or something in there? I think there's something in there. Oh, yes. And look at this. It's a package of hot dogs. Invisible hot dogs. And, ah, 48 car case. Case. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I can't even say case. And it's in beautiful condition. It will definitely go into the collection. I think I have about six of these already. And every time I... Every time I get a new one, I look to see which one I like best, and then I sell one of them, the one that I like least. Sorry about that, but I've got a lot of these. I love this case. This one is excellent condition. I'm already happy about what I got. So let's put the phone on the tripod and get to see what's inside. We're ready to go. Let's get this open. Oh, so pretty, so nice. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got a bunch of orange surprises. A beautiful Canadian catalog, first year. A couple of items written in. Ooh, look at the dates, 9869. Hmm. Look at that. Pretty cool. Look at that beautiful catalog. Oh man, how exciting is that? Oh, look at that. Wow. And it's in English and French. This is the first version of the catalog that has the drawn cars. So beautiful. And here is the another catalog, 69 catalog oh written on the back as well i wonder if we got all the cars that are on here that is exciting orange off here we go a little orange and what do we have in here oh we've got a lot of cars a lot of cars let's set this aside slightly how's the color color good today we can always adjust that on the video processing first car up on the lot Today, Maserati Mistral with a button, with a button, the button button. If you need buttons, I got tons of buttons, all of them, except for the really hard ones, of course, naturally. Those are the hard ones. That's why they're hard. You can't find them anywhere. Hardest buttons. Let's get this guy open. Maserati Mistral in blue. Maserati Mistral in blue. Light wear on the wheels. Sometimes that's just age. Looks like it might have a decal on the front there. I can't quite make it out. But there she is. Maserati in blue. And for you people that like the back end of the car, there it is. Had a guy one time say, hey, how come you never show the back end of the car? Well, it's not very interesting to me, but it's a nice, excellent condition Maserati Mistral. All right. I think I'm going to move slightly over here. I think the orange coloration is throwing off the camera coloring. So let's just shift around here, get back to our daylight. Here's our daylight, and we'll put our catalogs up here. How about 68 here, 69 over there. Put the 69 there, the Maserati Mistral. One of the harder cars to get from 69, that's for sure. Next one up, oh, you know what it is? I've got the blue filter on on my camera. That's why it looks funny to me. I better stop and come back. All right, everything's all better now. You know, at nighttime, you can turn a blue filter on on your phone it's supposed to help you relax and sleep. Hot Heap, Hong Kong button. Let's see, I believe this one's going to be orange. And here it is, orange. I was hoping this would be a, a real nice one. Let's take a look. Well, that's not, it's not mint, but it's nice. It's not mint, but it's nice. Now, of course, I do like mint cars. I've been doing this a long time, so I've seen it all. It's a decent shape orange but orange is a tough color orange Hong Kong that is a tough tough color what is this this is just a pad all right next one up oh this one feels big mudmobile I believe this one's going to be blue let's hope it's 
blue and nice. Let's take a look. All right, there she is, Muttmobile in blue. Pretty nice shape. Got the dogs in the back. Nice top, top's not broken. Light wear on the fenders, light wear on the wheels. I think I might call that a near mint. I'd have to look at under the magnifying glass that I use. There's the dogs, already showed you that. Nice looking, nice to get, a 1971 model. The Mutt Mobile. Oh, and also the button is with it. The Mutt Mobile button. All right, next one up is what is it? What is it? This one is, oh, a school bus for crying out loud. A 71 school bus. Let's see what it looks like. 71 school bus. Got the big back of this big sticker on top. Got really nice stickers on the, on the front there. It's actually in very good shape for a school bus. These things tend to have bad paint a lot. That's in place. This is not cracked. Sometimes this piece will crack on you or has cracked. A lot of times the paint will be kind of spotty on the very back here. This one's actually pretty good for a school bus. It typically, they get worn bad on there. So that's nice. Be nice to take that off, but you know, I'm not going to risk it because that might pull the paint off and we wouldn't want to do that. So we'll just leave that as it is, as it is. All right, button, button, custom Firebird. Custom Firebird. I just bought a custom Firebird in a blister pack today, a red one with red interior. Don't think I've ever seen that in a blister pack today, but it did send me back about 700 bucks. Here is a red in with white interior, kind of rough condition on this one. Missing a wheel on that side, but that can easily be remedied because the bearing is there. But not great shape. That one will definitely end up on the bargain basement. In the bargain basement at toycarcollector.com. Right on, right on. Somebody was asking me this morning about why don't you have more cars in the bargain basement? Well, try not to buy. They're kind of hard to buy You know, cars that are only worth a lower amount than some. Custom Cougar button. Hmm, but it was by itself. It was by itself. It did not, it was not next to a car, so that might indicate that there is no custom Cougar in the lot. Can silhouette. Okay, so those buttons. The buttons are kind of scratched up. Oh, you know what? There are no, maybe they're in here somewhere, but I see no dividers right off in the case. No dividers. Fortunately, I have probably a hundred dividers in stock somewhere. What's this? It's the hood. The hood. Oh, look at this one's really nice. Look at that. She's really nice. Got a little dust on it, but look at that. That's pretty. That's why I buy collections, you know, to find the pretty ones. They are not just laying around. You can't just go scoop up a bunch of pretty ones. You have to really work at it to accumulate a collection of pretty ones. I mean, really, really pretty. Really, really, really. Ah, this one, I believe, is the racer rig. Yep, racer rig. Let's move these down. As we accumulate a racer a rig. Hey, all right. Racer rig's quite a popular model. Hard to get a good one. This one's in pretty good shape. They always have rubs across the top here. You kind of can't do anything about that. That's kind of the way it is. And the important thing is that the sticker's in good shape and that the white is not yellowed too badly. It's in good shape. So I think we've got a winner there in the racer rig. Right there. We'll just put her right there. Maybe we'll put her over here. Racer rig. Is she? Is he a she? Is it a she? I don't know. Next one up, a small one, a very small one. Might be a Shelby Turbine. And yes, it is a Shelby Turbine. Shelby Turbine, or is it Shelby Turbine? Hmm. And it is green and not great. Green and not great. This one got played with pretty good. There she is, Shelby Turbine, green, green. Still, let's see. I've got two, three, four really nice ones so far. And only a couple that were a little worn. Here's another car, a red. Is that red or is that orange? Hmm, I think it's orange. It's darkened, but it is an orange Brabham. I wonder. 
Have I got an orange crab ham? I don't know. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have one, at least with the nice decals on it. Did I drop the button? Was there a button in there somewhere? I'll have to go through everything. Make sure I don't lose any buttons. Let's see. Oh, a fleet side. This one's rough. Look at that. Fleet side. That one needs a resto. Maybe I should get that painted, huh? Get it painted brown. One of those rare colors, ice blue, brown, the impossible colors. There's certain colors of certain cars that are almost impossible. First one that comes to mind is Antifreeze Custom T-Burn. Custom, custom Volkswagen in this next go, next opening. <clears throat> and there it is, green enamel, very common in the Canada market. The green enamel, custom Volkswagen. This one's got obvious wear, but she's still rolling, still red, ready to roll. Getting down on the first side of the case. I love these cases. Did I mention I love these cases? I love these cases, the 48 car flat case. All the flat cases are the most popular. Yay, look at that. Sneaking out of here is a Farb. Oh man, I tell you what, one thing about Farbs is they're hard to get nice ones, really hard, especially in the blister pack. They, for some reason, they corrode really easily. Something about the metal there. But look at this one's nice. Got his glasses on. Very nice. Mustachioed. Very nice. Wheels, which are easily replaceable if they were worn. That is a nice farb. I don't have any farbs laying around right now, so I may have to... Put him on the display shelf for a while, or forever. Who knows? Who knows how long forever is? Next one is a, feels like a woody wagon. It is a woody wagon. Oh, and we've got a winner here. A lovely rose woody wagon. Look how nice that is with the wrinkled top. Wow, that's very nice. Very nice. Now, you know I have a lot of Hot Wheels for sale on my website, toycarcollector.com, but... I haven't really been listing a lot lately. I've been so busy with Christmas and holidays and buying stuff and projects, movie making, etc., etc. Oh, look at the back of this pen. Really weird looking. Woody wagon. Woody wagon. If you need pens, I got them. I've got complete sets for 68, 69, and 70 available and some singles. Oh, Noodlehead, right. The Noodlehead was one I was looking forward to in this collection. Noodlehead. I think it's light green. I'm hoping it's nice. What do you think? You think it's going to be nice? Call out. What do you think? Nice or not nice? Nice or not nice? Let's take a look. Oh, hey. It is nice. Now, the base is a little dull. Although you can polish up this base if you really absolutely had to. And you can replace the wheels if you absolutely had to. And you can polish the top of this with a Dremel and some Jewelers Rouge. I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but that's a nice light green. Good color on that. Very good color in this light. It looks good. No broken window or anything. Noodly head. I love the noodle head. I just got a red one in a blister pack. I wanted to rip, rip that baby open. Red one in a blister. That set me back about $300. These things are expensive. Really, really nice ones are really, really expensive, like anything nice. There's so many people with so much money that they come into the hobby, they buy all the nice ones. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is just a little 80s Corvette. It is a nice looking model, 80s Corvette. Look at this thing, hood opens. This is back when Hot Wheels, newer Hot Wheels were all metal even. Look at that, that reminds me. I think there's a super groovy car in here somewhere. That's got the red luggage in the back. I wonder, is it the tan luggage or the red luggage that's the harder one to find? I don't know. I don't know. Chaparral. Button. Now this collection, my next collection I'm getting in has two blue chaparrals. And this one also has a blue chaparral, but it's a Hong Kong. Hong Kong blue chaparral, no wing. Sticker on the bottom for the chaparral. Blue chaparral. Not sure I see too many blue chaparrals. I'll have to think about that. But I love the blue U.S. chaparral. That's a real beauty. The blue U.S. is a gorgeous model. All right, getting over on the second half. Second half, 
second half, second half, sometimes the second half becomes the second part of the video. And, oh, well, blue light my firebird. Blue light my firebird. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> blue light my firebird. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. It's in good condition. I would say it's around the excellent, but nah, you know, it's a low excellent. If you've looked at my stuff for sale, you notice I'm very critical on condition. I always post at least four very large pictures, and more pictures are available if you need them whenever you're looking at something that I have for sale. <clears throat> very critical, critical, they say. But look at that. There you go. Blue light my firebird. And that is a 1970 model. Is it the first 70 model that we've gotten? Yes, it is. We'll put her here and that's the racer rigs button. And there was no pin for that. And that is the first half of the collection. So I'm going to break this collection up into two videos as usual. So be sure to stay tuned. Watch out for the next video. I'll probably post it at the very same time that I post this one. So two parts to this video. This collection... I call the Centurion Collection. You haven't seen it yet, but there's a Rumbler Centurion in here. All right, thanks for watching this first half of the video. I call this the Centurion Collection because there is a Centurion Rumbler coming up. Now be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and take a look at these four videos for your watching pleasure. One I recommend, one that YouTube recommends, the latest uh, video posted, and another very interesting video. So check them all out, and thank you for watching. Come on back next time around. Bye.